<laughs> well, unfortunately, my father couldn't be here today because he's 95 and just too old, really. Uh, I think this means a lot to him because he loved his father and he loved his time in this house. Uh, <clears throat> I think partly because they had escaped Nazi Germany and coming here, I mean, they'd been in Cambridge for three years, but I think coming here felt very safe and very delightful, really. Edinburgh's a lovely city and they loved, obviously, the people here too. And for me, it's, it's kind of wonderful too, because I'd not seen this house and to you know, to see the connection with my father and my grandfather is, is very touching. Physics went through two revolutions about a hundred years ago. The first of them was heralded by Albert Einstein, and this was the theory of relativity, which explains the behavior of the universe on the large scale. Uh, the second is less well known, but is quantum mechanics. It's the theory of what happens at the very small scales. And Max Born was one of those pioneers that worked um, in the 1920s to try to explain the behavior of matter at the very smallest scales. And this is completely bizarre behavior. The world that, that we know of simple objects um, simply doesn't apply when those objects become very small. And it was Max Born's insight that helped us explain this uh, very strange quantum world. I would say that uh, mathematical physics at Edinburgh, which is one of the strongest strands within the School of Physics and Astronomy, is his legacy to us. Um, as a school, we are in the top 25 physics departments in the world, and uh, that is based on um, mathematical physics as much as any of the others, and indeed, one of the people who was inspired by Max Born was Peter Higgs, and Peter Higgs is our most recent Nobel laureate. We are an international university. Uh, people have always come to us from around the world. Uh, Max Born and his family had to leave Germany uh, because of what was happening to Jews. Uh, they came and they found a home in Edinburgh, and it was a home that was a very successful academic home, but it was also a very happy family home. And I think in these times for the university to signal as one of its values, we want people from around the world to come to us, and particularly if they're people who are challenged in some way, uh, if they are, as the Bournes were, refugees uh, and immigrants, then we want to wel strongly welcome them. And for me, there's is a tremendous pleasure is in the family, the Bourne family's pleasure in our acknowledging their happy stay in our city of Edinburgh. Everybody knows Einstein, most people know Heisenberg, some people know about Schrodinger, but I think his name is generally not so well known. And <clears throat> I know that all, my father has always felt that that was wrong. And, and so, you know, any, anything which helps to remind people of how important he was to the development of physics. And, and <clears throat> actually, a few years ago, we were in Germany for a Festschrift, and one of the contemporary physicists there was saying that a lot of Max Born's ideas are only now becoming current, if you like. I mean, that he was predicting things and he was ahead of his time and that there are all sorts of things now that are in active research, <clears throat> which he started, he, he set off. So I think my father would be, I mean, I think he's very sad not to be here. So thank you. <laughs>